sure you may have some questions from the previous session. I think this is the third question for audit, is it? Third or second? Do you have any questions from the previous session? I'm asking you whether you have any questions from the previous session. No, sir. Okay. Right. So let's have a quick catch up of the previous session and uh, we can move to the other part. Right, so I'm sharing the screen of the notes that is already shared with you. Corporate governance for the very Mudalavada section one, the directors of Petty Solo, the directors of Samanamana own the division, Apathy America. Every public company should be headed by an effective board which should direct, lead, and control the company. So, meaning one the theory is directors one, the effective wire governor. So, among the responsibility in and about the directing, leading, and controlling the company. Okay. The chairman's role in preserving good corporate governance is crucial. As the person responsible for running the board, the chairman should preserve order and facilitate effective discharge of board function. Right? So, chairman one day, in the same one, board the captain I return. Board the captain I return, no corporate governance, some of the monomission will allow me, complete and unacceptable, very particular burden. The board should ensure the availability within it, those with sufficient financial acumen and knowledge to offer guidance on matters of finance. Finance some of the people who the board the guidance of the board the board. So at least some of the members of the board should have the financial knowledge. So next, preferable the board to have balance of executive and non-executive director. Such no individual or small group of people can dominate the board decision making. So board level one day, yark may excess power rikka kuda adha. So executives, non-executives are there, or balance power rikka kuda There should be a formal and transparent procedure for the appointment of new directors to the board. Put this on directors appointment and so on, all of the procedure rikka kuda. The procedure transparent and formal even the shareholders rikka the advantage rikka. All directors should be required to submit themselves for re-election at regular intervals at least once in every three years. Over three years ago, the directors are reappointed. Board should periodically appraise their own performance in order to ensure that board responsibilities are satisfactorily discharged. Right? Board one the self-evaluation on the one. That is periodical evaluation. Shareholders should be kept advice of relevant details in respect of directors. Directors among shareholders information could go to the the board should at least annually assess the performance of the CEO. So these are the main areas of directors we are seeing. Then in the shareholders, the board should use the annual general meeting to communicate with shareholders and should encourage their participation. So annual general meeting is called for the and the annual general meeting is the shareholders and the shareholders are the board for the Directors should disclose to shareholders all proposed material transactions. Individual shareholders should be encouraged to participate in the general meetings of the companies and exercise their voting. So, Companies to individual shareholders ignore panna mudi. Other avangalam bande vote panna varna. So other encourage panna varna. The company ne veda. Remuneration committees generally naanga committees apeti paath naanga committees apeti paath rabo the executive non executive difference. Adilla executives to gum non executives to gum nee difference. Non executives to gum inum brenda periklam parao the independent periklam matra vishengal paath rabo. So majority independent or all of independent. But no executive director. It is primary committee is a form of form. So there are three committees. The remuneration committee, the name itself says, but is there all? The remuneration committee must, must be established made up of at least three independent non-executive directors or all of non-executive directors where majority are independent, whichever is higher. So in the remuneration committee, it is only a minimum member three. Three members may be independent, I don't know. All the majority independent, I recommend. So, two independent, one non independent, but all should be non executive. One non executive director shall be appointed as the chairman of the committee by the board. The remuneration committee recommends the board that on that remuneration for executive directors and CEO. So, executive directors with the above salary could come under in the remuneration committee in the role. Audit committee. Very important, this is your exam area. Audit committee will test it for your exam. So we have to understand. Audit committee structure. 
an audit committee must be established made up of at least three independent NED or all NED where majority are independent. So, render the man under structure for alarm. At least three NEDs, independent NEDs, so company la moon the NEDs of the Puraiva island, moon the independent NEDs of the Puraiva island, illa NEDs and one of the but of the majority independent Iron, whichever is higher. One non executive director shall be appointed as the chairman of the committee by the board. So, board will appoint one person in the member, one person in the committee as the chairman of the committee. So, this is the audit committee structure. If you have any questions till now, you can ask. Right? Audit committee structure will take another part of the detail of the question. So, if you have any questions, you can ask. Any question? Right, so let's proceed. Audit committee, that is the exam testing area. So audit committee for the first First, audit committee in the Vishya Tala Soda Gopadi. What are the responsibilities of the audit committee or functions of the audit committee? Very importantly, keep in mind these areas. Number one, financial reporting. So company in the financial reporting, director say vanga. But at the Sariya play on the review under the audit committee. Second, internal audit matters. Company in the internal audit me audit committee ka report panna burn. Internal controls management, company in the internal controls the law may audit committee in the approval. External auditors appointment, yar external auditor appointment number among the qualification and experience in the economy, independence of the economy, performance of the economy, in the vision will decide under the in the vision will recommend under the board recommend under the audit committee. And finally, auditors and their performance, auditors and the findings of our external auditor, finances are the end of the amount of frauds or errors of fine money. This is some of the amount of vision will discuss under the audit committee. So, financial reporting related matters, internal audit related matters, external audit related matters, auditors appointment, qualification, independence related matters, auditors performance and finding related matters. So, in the matters, the audit committee performed under the area. So, if you have a screen in the bathroom, Right. The audit committee's purpose, so we are seeing here, what is the purpose of the audit committee? Overseeing the preparation, presentation and adequacy of disclosure in the financial statement in accordance with LKAS. So, company the financial statement, Shrilanka accounting standards, board of directors prepare. So, the board of directors prepare when it's under that. Audit committee oversee. So overseeing the preparation and presentation. Adequacy of disclosure. So it is an answer to the audition. Financial reporting matter. Second, overseeing the compliance with financial reporting requirements, information requirement of the companies act and other relevant financial reporting regulations and requirements. So company that Financial reporting related laws and regulations related compliance under the check under the audit committee. So the audit committee has to supersede the compliance with the financial reporting requirement. Overseeing the process to ensure that the company's internal controls and risk management procedures are adequate to meet the requirements of the Sri Lanka auditing standards. So company's internal control and internal audit related areas, risk management area. So in the areas alarm. Sufficient Ayrka, so long the auditing standards are compliant Ayrka. In the Vishayam, audit committee supervise Pana, oversee Pana. Assessment and assessment of the independent performance of the entity's external auditors. So, not only about the internal auditors, external auditors they check Pana in the audit committee. And making recommendation to the board on the appointment, reappointment, removal of external auditors and to approve remuneration. And terms of engagement of the external auditor. So external auditor Samanamana Vishangala board advice or board recommendation of Kudukra in the audit committee. Right? So these are the important areas you have to understand about the purpose or functions or responsibilities or roles of the audit committee. 
என்னென்ன விஷயத்துல பெர்ஃபார்ம் பண்ண வேணும் என்ற விஷயத்த நாங்க இங்க சொல்லி இருக்கிறோம் ஏதா ஒரு விஷயம் ரிவைஸ் பண்ண வேணுமா இருந்தால் நீங்க சேர்க்கலாம் financial reporting matters internal audit internal control risk management external auditors matters idellame auditors audit committee oversee pannum board ku recommend pannum so this is the responsibility of the audit committee are you clear to go ahead sir is it um, audit committee is um, part of board of directors or audit committee is a part of board of directors but audit committee is full of non executive director so let me discuss this again right board of directors is divided into two as executive directors and non executive directors executive directors have two roles they are in the board and also they are in the management so they will take part in the decision making and also they will take part in the decision implementation or decision execution so they have two responsibilities they are called executive directors non executive directors do not take part in the execution only decision making so non executive directors are in the board but not in the management so they are a part of the board but they are non and this non executive directors are again divided into independent and non independent so in the independent people la committee la varuvaanga the committee structure says all of the independent or majority independent so anyhow the independent people will have the power in the committee and this committee will question on the performance of the executive director so as for your question you are right audit committee la ullavangal board of directors ah ana avanga yaar ennu sonna non executive majority independent people so they cannot be executive are you clear did i answer your question uh, yes sir right okay any more questions from any one of you right so if you don't have any question let move to the other part that is the benefit of the audit committee all that we have seen the audit committee will revise the financial reporting function audit related function internal audit function risk management function internal control function so this audit committee is revising this audit committee is an independent committee because majority are independent so ipdi petta or independent committee in the vishayangal ellam revise pannudhu endu sonna adu shareholders ku nalladhu executive directors inda power adu control pannum so we will see the first benefit when the audit committee reviews the financial statement independently and discuss the significant matters with the external auditor the credibility of the financial statement is improved ஜெனரலி டிரெக்டர்ஸ் ஆல பிரிப்பேர் பண்ணப்பட்ட பைனான்சியல் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட்ஸ் ஷேர் ஹோல்டர்ஸ் நம்ப மாட்டாங்க ரீசன் கன்ஃபிளிக்டிங் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் இருக்கும் சோ டிரெக்டர்ஸ் போய் சொல்றதுக்கான சான்ஸ் இருக்கு ஆனா இந்த ஆடிட் கமிட்டி இண்டிபெண்ட் ஆடிட் கமிட்டி இதை ரிவியூ பண்ணியிருந்தாங்கன்னு சொன்னால் அவங்க நிறைய விஷயத்தை பார்த்துக்கலாம் பைனான்சியல் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் பிரிப்பேர் பண்ணினது சரியா பைனான்சியல் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் பிரசன் பண்ணினது சரியா ஸ்ரீலங்கா அக்கௌண்டிங் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட்ஸ் கேட்ட மாதிரி இருக்கா லோஸ் அண்ட் ரெகுலேஷன்ஸ் கம்ப்ளை பண்ணிருக்கா சோ இந்த விஷயங்கள் எல்லாத்தையும் அவங்க செக் பண்ற போது external user in the financial statement and number the gone chance could i reckon because it is reviewed by some people who are independent and knowledge second when the audit committee monitors the independence of external auditors the confidence on the auditors opinion will be increased external auditor when the company gain varan so the financial statement audit panni audit report on kudukuradhu but in the external auditor pula vittal avaye kuda kelvi kekka mudiyum in the audit committee so external auditor and the work external auditor and the independence external auditor seyir findings in the audit committee vand review pandra podu external auditor and the report layum shareholders ku dependency kuda va irukku when the audit committee monitors the internal control system the control environment will be strong company the internal controls internal controls patti naanga detail appra padiche irukrom internal controls ah vandu in the committee vandu review pannudhu so internal controls ah vandu mistake varadhukana chances less 
the competency of the members of the audit committee will add value to the company naanga non executive directors ah kondu vandirukom industry specialist adha avanga engada own directors illa avanga vandu vera engiyo irukranga avangala naanga part time directors ah kondu vandirukom avanga vandu indha company illa theviyana vishayangala executive directors ku அட்வைஸ் கொடுப்பாங்க கன்சல்ட் பண்ணுவாங்க எக்ஸிகூட்டிவ் டிரெக்டர் செய்யற பிள்ளையான விஷயங்களை அவங்க சரியா கைட் பண்ணுவாங்க சோ இந்த காரணத்தால அவங்க கம்பெனிக்கு தங்களை நாலேஜ் கொடுக்குறாங்க சோ தே வில் ஆட் வேல்யூ டு த கம்பெனி த பெர்ஃபார்மன்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி ஆடிட் கம்பெனி இன்கிரீஸஸ் தி பெர்ஃபார்மன்ஸ் தி பெர்செப்ஷன் ஆஃப் குட் கோஆப்பரேட் கவர்னன்ஸ் இட் வில் பி ஈஸி ஃபார் தி கம்பெனி டு அரேஞ்ச் ஃபைனன்ஸ் சோ கம்பெனி வந்து கோஆப்பரேட் கவர்னன்ஸ் கம்ப்ளை பண்றதால ஷேர் ஹோல்டர்ஸ் வந்து கம்பெனியை நம்பிறது கூட ஷேர் ஹோல்டர் கம்பெனியை நம்புவாங்களா இருந்தா ஷேர் மார்க்கெட்ல ஷேர் கூடிய பிரைஸ் அதிகரிக்கும் சோ கம்பெனிக்கு கேபிட்டல் பைனான்ஸ் எடுத்துக் கொள்றது ஈஸியா இருக்கு நெக்ஸ்ட் தி இன்டர்னல் ஆடிட் ஃபங்க்ஷன் will be what was seen by the audit committee and hence independence and performance can be increased இன்டர்னல் ஆடிட் ஃபங்க்ஷன் வந்து ஆடிட் கமிட்டி ஓவர்சீ செய்யும் ஓவர்சீ பண்ற போது இன்டர்னல் இன்டர்னல் ஆடிட் இன்டிபெண்டண்டா இருக்கு சோ யாருமே அங்க இன்ஃப்ளூயன்ஸ் பண்ண முடியாது right so up to now we have seen some of the benefits of the audit committee this also may be one of the exam question right are you clear now if you have any question on this area you can ask me or company ko audit committee irukra vaala ena benefit endra vishayatha naanga paathirukom ava financial statements inda credibility nambaga thanme adhigama irukum audit opinion inda credibility nalla irukum அதே போல இன்டர்னல் கண்ட்ரோல் ஸ்ட்ராங்கா இருக்கு மிஸ் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் யாருமே செய்ய முடியாது இண்டிபெண்ட் பீப்பிள் இங்க வந்து கம்பெனிக்கு வேல்யூ அடிஷனா செய்யறாங்க நாலேஜ் கொடுக்கறாங்க already we have discussed here audit committee ku vandha naanga yara kondu varuvanum nu sonna non executive directors indha non executive directors company la management la take part panna maatanga but avangalukku salary kudukka venum avanga company la irukra ovvoru vishayathukku kelvi kekpaanga so company la decision making will be slow executive directors avanga ella vishayathukume kelvi kekkiradhaala executive directors ku pressure kodum right so they cannot work independently so ipidiyana prachinayala ஆடிட் கமிட்டில சில லிமிடேஷன் ஆடிட் கமிட்டியை நாங்க விரும்பாம போறது காரணம் இருக்கு என்ன விஷயம் வந்து பார்த்தோம்னு சொன்னா நான் எக்ஸிகூட்டிவ் டைரக்டர்ஸ் வந்து இந்த knowledge கொண்டவங்களா இருப்போம் சோ இந்த knowledge will people தேடி பிடிக்கிறது கஷ்டம் அப்படி தேடி பிடிச்சாலும் அவங்களுக்கு நாங்க கொடுக்க போற salary level வந்து ஹையா இருக்கு நான் சொன்னா they are highly demand people எக்ஸிகூட்டிவ் டைரக்டர்ஸ் கிட்ட இருக்க போற pressure வந்து ஹையா இருக்கு சோ இந்த பிரச்சனை அது ஆடிட் கமிட்டில சில drawback or limitations create பண்ணுது So we are seeing the last topic of the chapter. Limitations of the body committee. Problem in identifying and recruiting the competent people to the audit committee. So audit committee ke varam varam mention na avangal ko financial reporting jaran jirko varam. Madam the accounting standard se lang clear ayar ko varam. Audit jaran jirko varam. Risk management jaran jirko varam. So upadi pata akal na nga khandu budi jir kondu varam andre the difficult. cost of the company will be increased due to the appointment of competent and responsible non executive directors apdi pa non executive directors kondu vandha mundu sonnal company avangala pay panna vendiya directors remuneration is high so company expenses will be high and third executive directors may feel that audit committee put unnecessary pressure on their work thaanga normal ah vela seidha nadandra pole indha audit committee vandu thevai illada vishayangala thirumba 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 kelvi kekkiradala avangalukku koodudalana pressure இருக்கும் என்று சொல்லி எக்ஸிகூட்டிவ் டிரெக்டர்ஸ் ஃபீல் பண்ணினா கம்பெனியின் மேனேஜ்மென்ட் பெர்ஃபார்மன்ஸ் மே பி லெஸ் சோ தீஸ் ஆர் தி லிமிடேஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி ஆடிட் கமிட்டி இஃப் யூ ஹேவ் எனி क्वेश्चंस யூ கேன் ஸ்டாப் அண்ட் ஆஸ்க் மீ ரைட் சோ டியர் ஸ்டூடண்ட்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் தி சாப்டர் 1 वी हैव கம் டு தி எண்ட் ஆஃப் சாப்டர் 1 சோ அட் தி எண்ட் ஆஃப் திஸ் சாப்டர் திஸ் இஸ் தி லேர்னிங் அவுட் கம் அட் தி எண்ட் ஆஃப் திஸ் சாப்டர் யூ ஆர் எக்ஸ்பெக்டட் டு ஹேவ் a clear understanding on the below mentioned learning outcome First, identify the types of business and their objectives. We have identified different types of business based on the profit, based on the size, based on the legal status. So these areas we have studied, but this is not the main exam testing area for this time. Second, demonstrate the elements of external environment affecting the business organization. That is the pestle factor. Pestle factor usually in the past paper it has been frequently asked. They will ask to discuss about a pestle factor and its 
impact. But this time, I'm not sure that's going to be a main area because the corporate governance will be the main testing area, but we have to get prepared for that. Explain the agency theory and stewardship theory. I have clearly discussed about that and the notes is also given. Agency relationship exists between the board and the shareholders, but that is not just an agency, but something more advanced than that. So we, we call this as stewardship theory. Identify key components of organization's corporate governance framework and discuss the importance of corporate governance in achieving objectives of the organization. So first you have to check key components of organization's corporate governance framework. Key components include the director's related area, we have seen nine recommendations, right? Shareholders related area, we have seen three recommendations. So these areas are important areas. And this is the importance of corporate governance in achieving the objective. So this includes the advantages of the audit committee and the advantages of the corporate governance. So these areas you have to be familiar with. And in this area, we have covered the following topic. Business, the meaning of the business, classification of the business, business environment we have studies, agency theory and stewardship, interest conflict, and the major area is corporate governance. So these are the areas we have studied and I have shared the notes with you. If you have not receive the notes, please call us, we will guide you to get them. Right, so we have come, come to the end of the first chapter. If you have any questions from the first chapter, I can answer your questions now. Do you have any questions from the chapter one? Okay, so that seems you are clear on the chapter one because that is very basic and it's a straightforward chapter. What is given will be tested in the exam. No scenario based question or case study question or something like that. The question from this chapter will be a straightforward question. So we don't have too much worry about that. We will have some revision question and the answering pattern in a later session. Right, so welcome everyone. Now we are going to start the chapter two. Right, so the topic is risk. In this chapter, we are going to study the basic risk management. So, mudalla naanga theringi kolluvam risk enda inna. Right, risk enda inna ende naanga theringi kollra vishayathilla. Risk enda inna ende niengo oru vishayatha yosinchiru pinga. Daily life le niengo risk situation the face mani pinga risk kerli pannu pinga. So, inga naanga solla pora vishayam enna sunnal. Risk is an acceptable definition or acceptable meaning So first, let's understand the meaning of risk. Right? Expected performance and actual outcome in the end of vision. If you look at one vision, if you look at one vision, you can say anything you can say. So, if you look at expected performance, actual outcome, and the difference in the risk, so the risk can be defined as the deviation between the expected performance and the actual outcome, right? So expected performance with the actual outcome with the middle area difference that the risk and the fault. So the deviation between the expected performance and the actual outcome is called risk. Right. So expected performance in actual outcome of the for example, normal plan will come in the version with a hundred million profit. So our budgeted profit E is hundred million but end of the year we have accomplished only 60 million so 40 million from our expectation is lost due to risk so our expected performance is 100 million profit but actually we have accomplished only a 60 million profit so due to the risk we have lost 40 million in the risk and the part of profit the expected sales on the actual so expected sales but actual sales for a buyer now in the sonal expect for the cost of the actual cost of the 
சோ இதுக்குரிய ரீசன் என்னன்னு பார்த்தோம்னு சொன்னால் மேபி எக்கனாமிக் ஃபேக்டர்ஸ் இருக்கலாம் பிரைஸ் இன்ஃபிளேஷன் எப்படியான பிரச்சனை இருக்கலாம் ரைட் சில வகையில மார்க்கெட் ஃபேக்டர்ஸ் ஆயிருக்கலாம் டிமாண்ட் பிரச்சனையை கொடுத்திருக்கலாம் சம்டைம்ஸ் இன்புட் மார்க்கெட் ஃபேக்டர் மார்க்கெட் ப்ராப்ளம் ஆயிருக்கலாம் காஸ்ட் இன்க்ரீஸ் ஆயிருக்கலாம் Sometimes imported goods are not compete with the same thing. So there are several reasons inside the risk. So we will say the risk is the impact of environment. So environment is the risk of the environment. Environment is the risk of the environment. So the risk is created from the environmental factor. The risk is created from the environmental factor. Environmental factors we can divide as internal environment factors or external environmental factors. Internal epidemiology that is the controllable environmental factor. External epidemiology that is the uncontrollable environmental factor. Whatever the factor is, they will create the risk. In the factor, we can create the risk. For example, we have the internal factors. Employees. Employees can create the risk of the company. We can create the risk of the company. We can create the risk of the company. பட் அவங்க எஃபிஷியன்சி வந்து நல்ல ஐடியா கம்பெனிக்கு ஒரு ரிஸ்க் கம்பெனியில மெஷினரி எடுப்போம் மெஷினரி வந்து சடன்லி பிரேக் டவுன் ஆயிடுச்சு எக்ஸ்டர்னல் என்வாரன்மெண்ட்டுக்குலிட்டிக்கல் ஃபேக்டர்ஸ் வந்து எங்களுக்கு சில ரிஸ்க் கிரியேட் பண்ணலாம் எக்கனாமிக் ஃபேக்டர்ஸ் ரிஸ்க் கிரியேட் பண்ணலாம் அதே மாதிரி சோசியோ கல்ச்சர் டெக்னாலஜிக்கல் லீகல் எக்கோலஜிக்கல் சோ இப்படியான ஒவ்வொன்றுமே எங்களுக்கு ரிஸ்க் கிரியேட் பண்ணலாம் இன்டர்னல் எக்ஸ்டர்னல் ரெண்டுமே ரிஸ்க் கிரியேட் பண்ணுவோம் பிட்வீன் த எக்ஸ்பெக்டட் பர்ஃபார்மன்ஸ் அண்ட் தி ஆக்சுவல் அவுட் கம் செகண்ட் வி ஹாவ் ஐடென்டிஃபைட் the risk is generated from the environmental factors both internal and external factors generate the risk did you understand this fact did you understand this fact yes sir okay so i expect the answer from everyone at least in the chat box okay somebody is asking me to tell again okay so i'm telling you again first we are giving a definition to the risk that is the deviation between the expected performance and the actual outcome right ipo udaranathukku naanga paathrom neenga exam ku prepare pannirukkeenga so ungala expectation exam pass panna venum endradhu suppose edho or reason ala ungalku adu mudiyala ennu sonnal anga or risk irundirukkanu da artham ரைட் நீங்க ஒரு ஜாப்புக்கு அப்ளிகேஷன் வந்து போடுறீங்க உங்களோட எக்ஸ்பெக்டேஷன் அந்த ஜாப் உங்களுக்கு கிடைக்கும் பண்றது ஏதோ ஒரு ரீசனால அந்த ஜாப் உங்களுக்கு கிடைக்க இல்லையன்னு சொன்னா அந்த ரீசன் வந்து ரிஸ்க் அது உங்களோட இன்டர்னல் ரிஸ்க் ஆயிருக்கலாம் மேபி உங்களோட வீக்னஸ் ஆயிருக்கலாம் ஓ எக்ஸ்டர்னல் காம்படிஷன் ஹையா இருந்துச்சு சோ இப்படியான விஷயங்கள் தான் நாங்க ரிஸ்க் வந்து சொல்றோம் நாங்க எக்ஸ்பெக்ட் பண்ணினதுக்கும் ஆக்சுவலுக்கும் இடையில டிவியேஷனை கிரியேட் பண்றதுதான் ரிஸ்க் சோ த ரிஸ்க் இஸ் டிஃபைன்ட் ஆஸ் the deviation between the expected performance and the actual outcome so this is the definition second we have to think how does the risk come in the risk when the inge irundhu eppadi varugudhu endu paathom endu sonnal engalude ovvoru nadavadikkilum environmental factor impact irukudhu so adha thaan naan risk endu solrom so risk is created from the environment internal environment um risk create pannum external environment um risk create pannum so commonly we will say the risk is generated from the environmental factor this is what i have explained to you till this moment is this clear now or you need the explanation again is it clear now shall we proceed or any question okay so it seems everyone have understood so i'm moving to the next segment we have understood the meaning of risk second we have understood where does the risk comes from so now we are going to make a classification of risk in the risk naanga in the risk naanga vahai padutra podu based on the environmental factor naanga in the risk renda vahai padathalam environment naanga renda vahai padichirukom internal and external the same category internal environment வந்து தான் சொன்னா அதுக்கு பேர் வந்து இன்டர்னல் என்வயர்மென்ட் 
external environmental factors ku factors la irund risk vandha avuk peer vandu external environmental risk so maybe internal risk or right internal internal risk means the risk created from the internal environmental factors example employees inefficiency machinery environmental so, Did you understand this? Is that clear now? Okay. Right. So we are moving to the next classification. In the risk lay in the business of our impact. So the impact from the risk, chinna daerikla, perisa daerikla, internal daerikla, external daerikla. So based on the impact of the risk, we are categorizing this into two as operational risks and strategic risk. Right. So operational risk means the impact will be on the operational area. Nirvana thinu dey thole part piribila thakam irukuma iran dal abe the peer onde operational risk thole part ilde. If ogan thing naam erite kori mam raw materials ille erite sonda production stop pa. Ana idhe naam koi ka recover pani ne muriye. So impact injured small impact can be recovered quickly. So priya na vishe ne na naam operational impact naam sori mam. So the operational impact is relatively lower. Operational impact is relatively short time. Operational impact can be recovered sooner, and it is mostly internal. So apni padhne na operational end solo. On the opposite side, strategic, it will be outside. So strategic risk will be in the market. Strategic risk on the other side. So now company the market share, market reputation, market demand. Ida lang mula kaman di para. இது ஒரு தடவை போச்சுதான் சொல்றோம் திரும்ப எடுக்கிறதுக்கு நிறைய காலம் சோ தி இம்பாக்ட் இஸ் ஹையர் ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜிக் இம்பாக்ட் இஸ் ஹையர் ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜிக் இம்பாக்ட் இஸ் எக்ஸ்டர்னல் ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜிக் இம்பாக்ட் இஸ் not easily recoverable so that is the difference based on the impact of the risk we can categorize the risk as operational risk or strategic risk are you clear on this i have explained the category of risk based on the impact so based on the impact we have categorized as operational and strategic and now i am asking with the you are clear on this right yes sir right okay so i am going to categorize this impact on one more basis based on the expectation we are categorizing the risk again into right already we have seen the definition the risk means the difference between the expected and the actual so ninge edhe edhir paathingalo edhu vandirukko idukidaiye irukka vithiyasam dhaan risk ninge edhir paakkuradha vachikonna naanga renda pirikkalam sila vishayatha ninge edhir paakkringa nu sonna nadaka poradhu opposite a irukku right for example ninga or job interview ku apply pandringa or job ku apply pandringa ungala expectation job ungalukku kedaikum unmayave job ungalukku kedaichu nu sonna risk illa because there is no deviation between the expected and actual ungalukku job kedaikama pona risk irukum ore ore chance risk irukiradhu kedaikama pogum so it will be the negative on one side 
இன்னும் சில ரிஸ்க் இருக்கு நீங்க எதிர்பார்க்கறத விட டூ சைட் ரிஸ்க் இருக்கலாம் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் யூ ஹவ் ஹண்ட்ரட் மில்லியன் ப்ராஃபிட் எக்ஸ்பெக்டேஷன் ஹண்ட்ரட் மில்லியன் ப்ராஃபிட் எக்ஸ்பெக்டேஷன் இருக்கிற போது ஆக்சுவல் ப்ராஃபிட் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் டுவெண்டியா வரலாம் ஃபேவரபிள் ஓ ஆக்சுவல் ப்ராஃபிட் சிக்ஸ்டியா வரலாம் unfavorable so the risk is on the two side so when the risk is two side we will say it is a two way risk so based on the expectation if the possible risk is only on the negative side that is called one way or negative risk if the possible impact will be either favorable or unfavorable positive or negative then it is called two way risk so this is the categorization of risk based on the risk expectation so we have categorized the risk into two based on the expectation as one way risk and two way risk is that clear now is that clear or need explanation again yes sir okay again risk enda inna endu sonnal naangal edirpaakra vishayam nadakkama pona than risk because the definition says deviation between expected and the actual so expected and actual um same a irundha nanga risk illa expected and actual um different a irundha tha nanga risk illa so neenga edhu edirpaakringa risk nadakkradhukana chance enna endradha nanga paakapom right ipa company vandu or tender ku apply pannudhu or tender ku apply pandra bodhu company ind expectation அந்த டெண்டர் தங்களுக்கு கிடைக்க வேணும் என்றதான் சோ த கம்பெனி எக்ஸ்பெக்ட் தி டெண்டர் ஷட் பீ கிராண்டட் டு தேம் சோ கம்பெனி இன் எக்ஸ்பெக்டேஷன் அந்த டெண்டர் கிடைக்க வேணும் டெண்டர் உண்மையாவே கிடைச்சாங்க ரிஸ்க் இல்ல because the expected and the actual is same அந்த டெண்டர் கிடைக்காம போனால் ரிஸ்க் இருக்கு சோ கம்பெனி எதிர்பார்த்ததை விட actual is negative சோ ரிஸ்க் வராதா இருந்தா நெகட்டிவ் அல்லது ரிஸ்க் வராது சோ ஒரே ஒரு வழியில தான் ரிஸ்க் வரும் that is the negative side of the risk so that is called one way risk on the other hand we are planning company's expectation is a certain level of profit for example we are saying 100 million profit vand company edir paakudhu indha varshathukku unmaya 100 million e kedaichadhu nu sonna anga risk illa because the expected and the actual is the same 100 million oda kooda vandhalum risk irukku that is positive risk 100 million oda kuraiya vandhalum risk irukku that is negative risk so risk vand ipo rendu side la irukku கூட வரலாம் அல்லது குறை வரலாம் சேமா வந்தா ரிஸ்க் இல்ல கூட வந்தாலும் குறை வந்தாலும் ரிஸ்க் இருக்கு சோ தே ஆர் டூ வே ரிஸ்க் தட் இஸ் வாட் வி சே டூ வே ரிஸ்க் சோ बेस्ड ஆன் தி எக்ஸ்பெக்டேஷன் we can categorize the risk as one way risk and two way risk is that clear now right so that, that good until now we have seen what is the meaning of risk and from where the risk emerges and third what are the different classifications of risk so we have classified the risk based on three different criteria based on the environmental factors the risk can be categorized into two as internal risk and external risk based on the impact of the risk we can categorize the risk into two as operational risk and strategic risk. and based on the expectation we can categorize the risk into two as one way risk and two way risk so this is called the classification of risk and we have completed the three criteria of classification so let's move to the other section right so the next topic we have to learn about the risk is the risk management framework so risk enna 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 engalukku therinjirukku and the risk e ipo naanga manage panna porom en risk manage panna porom endu sonnal and the risk appadi vittam endu sonnal company ku vandu or problem irukku enna endu sonna company the expectation undu unniya nadakkum so and the risk vandu naanga manage panna venum 
இந்த ரிஸ்க் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் ஃப்ரேம் ஒர்க் என்ன சொல்லுதுன்னு சொன்னா நீங்க ரிஸ்க் மேனேஜ் பண்ற போது ஸ்டெப்ஸ் என்ன என்ன ஸ்டெப்ஸ் எடுக்கணும் சோ வாட் ஷட் பி தி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஸ்டெப் செகண்ட் ஸ்டெப் थर्ड ஸ்டெப் சோ இப்படி ஸ்டெப்ஸ் தான் சொல்றதா இந்த ரிஸ்க் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் ஃப்ரேம் சோ இந்த ரிஸ்க் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் ஃப்ரேம் வர்க்ல தேர் ஆர் 3 ஸ்டெப்ஸ் ஆஃப் மேனேஜிங் தி ரிஸ்க் தேர் ஆர் 3 ஸ்டெப்ஸ் ஆஃப் மேனேஜிங் தி ரிஸ்க் ஐ அம் ரைட்டிங் தேம் right so the risk management includes three steps step number 1 risk assessment step number 2 risk treatment and step number 3 monitoring so there are three steps let me explain these three steps in detail right mudala vishayam naga paathom ennu sonnal risk assess panna vendum so assess pandra ennu sonnal and the risk sambandhama or complete knowledge undu naanga eduthukonu என்னிபிகண்டாக அந்த ரிஸ்க் வந்து ஃபியூச்சர்ல என்னவாகலாம் சோ இப்படியான விஷயங்களை நாம அசெஸ் பண்ண வேண்டும் once the risk assessment is complete we will have a clear understanding about the risk so risk பத்தி a clear understanding இருந்ததன்னு சொன்னால் risk manage பண்றது ஈஸி so the first step is over the second step is treatment இதுக்கு நாம ட்ரீட்மென்ட் கொடுக்க வேண்டும் so we have identify what is it what is inside it and what will be the impact சோ இப்போ எல்லாம் தெரிஞ்சபடியா அந்த ரிஸ்க வந்து நாம ட்ரீட் பண்ண போறோம் ப்ராப்பரா ட்ரீட் பண்ணினோம்னு சொன்னா இம்பாக்ட் குறை சோ இம்பாக்ட் குறைஞ்சதுன்னு சொன்னா பிசினஸ்க்கு ப்ராப்ளம் இல்ல அந்த இம்பாக்ட் குறைக்கிறதுக்கு நாம ட்ரீட்மென்ட் கொடுக்க போறோம் சோ இந்த ட்ரீட்மென்ட் கொடுக்கிறதுல வேரியஸ் வேஸ் இருக்கலாம் எல்லாத்துக்கும் எங்களுக்கு தேவை அந்த ரிஸ்க நாம ப்ராப்பரா அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் பண்ணி சோ எங்கட அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் பேஸ் ஆ வெச்சுக்கணும் நாம அந்த ரிஸ்க்க்கு ஒரு ட்ரீட்மென்ட் ஒன்னு கொடுக்க போறோம் அந்த ட்ரீட்மென்ட்டா ரிஸ்க் குறையும்னு நாம நினைக்கணும் third monitoring naanga kudutha treatment ala risk kurayala kurayama irukkalam so kurinjirka illaya endradha naanga monitor panni paatha dhaan theriyum so we have to monitor the risk when the risk treatment is success or failure so success or failure will be determined at the monitoring stage so naanga monitor panni kondirukka bodu treatment vand success nu sonnal continuous ah the treatment kudutha irukkom treatment failure nu sonnal naanga treatment ah maathum so monitor decides the for that so these are the three steps of risk management framework are you clear on that or you need further explanation are you clear on the fact okay then if you are clear on that now we are going to have a further detailed understanding about these steps a further detailed understanding says the risk assessment includes three steps right so the risk assessment i think the board is not clear yeah, let me write this again right so the first step risk assessment includes three sub steps so risk assessment na naanga seiya venum nu sonnal illa moonu vishayangalaiyum seiya vendiyathu the first identify the risk so first step vandu naanga risk identify panna venum risk adayalam vaana venum second step and identify panni na risk naanga analyze panna venum 
third step and analyze money the risk and evaluate say about so it is not in a first step so first identify and so on now and what are the environmental factors that you already we have studied the internal and external environment the fiscal factors everything we know so over a factor like in the in the risk for money now or list of the prepare money make money and the list of prepare one is the identify so company for the very risk war the moon a make company risk a pretty black account with the one and so risk on the order the immediate treatment of the company so why money so in the end the factor lady in the end the risk for now and then I'm going to get kind of which could have heard of so in the factor in the risk and the kind of which was on that is identify example political factor lady in the risk for now so example going to be economic factor lady in the risk for now inflation could be now in the risk or enjoy the risk Exchange rate code in our risk code in our risk. So in the vision, we are going to identify what we are going to do. All the risk mangal in the government are not seeing it. Still a risk, madam. Still a risk, madam. If we have a risk, then there are chances that we are going to be able to do it. On the list, we are going to do a risk. We are going to further analyze it. Further analyze it. further analyze பண்ற போது நாங்க ரெண்டு விஷயத்தை கன்சிடர் பண்றோம் அந்த ரிஸ்க் இந்த இம்பாக்ட் என்ன அந்த ரிஸ்க் வந்தால் என்ன ப்ராப்ளம் வரும் கம்பெனில அந்த ரிஸ்க் வாரதுக்கான ப்ராபபிலிட்டி சான்சஸ் என்ன என்ற ரெண்டு விஷயத்தையும் நாங்க அனலைஸ் பண்ண போறோம் சோ ரிஸ்க் இந்த இம்பாக்ட் என்ன ரிஸ்க் இந்த ப்ராபபிலிட்டி என்ன ஒவ்வொரு ஐடென்டிஃபைட் ரிஸ்க்கும் செப்பரேட்டா அனலைஸ் பண்ண வேண்டும் சோ एवरी ஐடென்டிஃபைட் ரிஸ்க் ஷட் பீ கன்சிடர்ட் ஃபார் தி டீடைல்ட் அனலைசிஸ் ஆஃப் தி இம்பாக்ட் அண்ட் தி ப்ராபபிலிட்டி Right. Then evaluate. So evaluate one report. Already, now analyze one report. So, and the analysis is in the risk one the high impact, high probability. So, that now we evaluation one of the one to go. In the low impact, low probability. So, that now we last time one to go. Ignore it. So evaluation now, now the dangerous situation. Prioritize one to go. That now the high risk one of the one to go. Low risk one of the one to go. ஒரு <laughs> Have you understood? Sir, what is mean by probability? Probability means you are learning about it. You are learning about it. That is why you are learning about it. If you are learning about it, you are learning about it. 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 So, if you have a chance to get a chance, it's 100%. If you have a chance to get a chance, it's maybe 1 or 2 percentage or 0 percentage. So, if you have a chance to get a chance, we will get a chance to get a chance. So, that is called probability. Are you clear on that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Any other questions? Any other questions? Okay, good. right so ipo naanga in the risk treatment and rendavathu vishayathukku povom risk treatment includes two further stages right so now already assessment mudichitam so we have a complete understanding about the risk now we are going to give the treatment so when you are going to the treatment first step we have to assess the different ways 
வாட் ஆர் தல்டர்னேட்டிவ் வேஸ் இந்த ரிஸ்க மேனேஜ் பண்றதுக்கு என்னென்ன டிஃபரெண்ட் வேஸ் இருக்கும் அந்த ஒவ்வொரு டிஃபரெண்ட் வேஸை நாம அசஸ் பண்றோம் அசஸ் பண்ற போது சிலது பாசிபிளா இருக்கும் சிலது நாட் பாசிபிளா இருக்கும் சிலது லோ காஸ்டா இருக்கும் சிலது ஹை காஸ்டா இருக்கும் சிலது ஹெவி ரிசல்ட்ட கொண்டு வரும் சிலது வந்து மைண்ட் ரிசல்ட்ட கொண்டு வரும் சோ இதை வச்சு கொண்டு வரும் பெஸ்ட் நாம இம்ப்ளிமெண்ட் பண்ண பண்ண சோ ஆல்டர்னேட்டிவ் மெத்தட்ஸ் ரிவ்யூ பண்றோம் அதுல பெஸ்ட் மெத்தட இம்ப்ளிமெண்ட் பண்றோம் that is called the risk treatment so the risk treatment includes two sub steps did you understand yes is that clear yes sir right so the third step it is continuous monitoring so monitoring naanga seiyrom adu continue monitor panna vendum enna sonnal environment is ever changing so environment vandu continuous ah change aayi kondirukum endu sonnal risk um always changing da and the risk vandu change aagum naanga kodutha treatment success ah irukalam or failure ah irukalam so treatment success ah failure ah risk kurainjiruka illaya endradha naanga paakkuvudha continuous ah monitor panni kondirukum vendum enna sonnal indaiku treatment success ah irukum naalaikku and risk thirumba varalam sometimes indicate risk vand failure a irukalam sometimes indicate risk vand clear aayidu naalaikku adu pudusa or risk create pannalam so continuously we have to monitor and get ourselves alert idu continuous ah naanga seidu kondirupoma irundal our risk management is a continuous process it's a continuous cycle continuous ah naanga idu seidu kondirukkum bodu risk ah naanga continuous ah control ah vechukondirukalam so control ah vechukondirupoma irundal business vand normal ah continue panni kondirukkom so the third part is monitoring it should be a continuous monitor so this is the risk management framework until now we have learned the risk management framework in the past paper there have been several question right most of the repeated questions are two questions right most of the repeated questions are two questions one is describe the stages in the risk management framework describe the primary stages in the risk management framework so these are the answers and second question they they will be giving one of this and ask you to explain this is the past paper trend so in the past paper they may be asking what is the meaning of risk assessment explain the risk assessment so then you have to explain that only so this is this was the repeating part in the past paper question about the risk management framework now we have been learning about the risk management framework and we have completed the first part of the risk management framework did you understand these things can we go further right 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 so we are continuing we have seen in the risk treatment part we have to assess the alternative risk treatment method alternative risk treatment methods so or so, risk handle pandradhukku more than one base irukku ஒன்றுக்கு மேற்பட்ட வழிமுறைகள் இருக்கு அந்த ஒன்றுக்கு மேற்பட்ட வழிமுறைகள் என்னன்றது தான் நாங்க இப்ப படிக்க போறோம் risk acceptance is the first method risk acceptance and in end paathama irundha right or company thanakku var risk indha vidamana edir nadapadikkai illama with no hound action var risk full ah accept pannadhu so that is called risk acceptance so var risk full ah ve naanga accept pandrom indha vidamana edirpu nadapadikkai illa ipo da irundha paathama sonna or company ta good sa vandha okay let's complete market market price kurinjana no problem let's try to sell at the low price market market demand kurinjana sonna no problem irukra market demand ku naanga pick up so in the risk vandala adu appadiye face pandradhu fear risk acceptance right right idukku opposite side und irukku that is
risk avoidance so rendu vishayatha paathom nu sonnal risk vandadhu nu sonna avanga and risk avoid panniruvaanga example competitor va pudusa market ku vandal avadi market ku poga maatanga business business close panniruvaanga price price koodichunna nu sonna அந்த ரிஸ்க ஃபேஸ் பண்ண மாட்டாங்க பிசினஸ் க்ளோஸ் பண்ணிடுவாங்க அல்ல அந்த ப்ராடக்ட்டே விக்காம விட்டுடுவாங்க சோ அவங்க எந்த ரிஸ்க் ஏ எடுத்து திரும்பறது இல்ல சோ தே டோன்ட் லைக் டு ஃபேஸ் எனி ரிஸ்க் சோ திஸ் இஸ் த செகண்ட் கேட்டகரி சோ சோ திஸ் இஸ் த செகண்ட் கேட்டகரி थर्ड கேட்டகரி ரிஸ்க் ரிஸ்க் ட்ரான்ஸ் எங்களுக்கு ஒரு ரிஸ்க் வந்து தண்ணி சொன்னா அந்த ரிஸ்க் நாங்க இன்னொரு ஆளுக்கு கொடுத்துருவோம் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இன்சூரன்ஸ் நாங்க ஒரு இன்சூரன்ஸ் எடுத்து வச்சிருக்கோம் எங்களுடைய வெஹிக்கிள் ரோட் ஆக்சிடென்ட் ஆயிடுச்சு அதனால வார நட்டம் இல்லாம இன்சூரன்ஸ் கம்பெனி ஃபார்ம் இன்சூரன்ஸ் கம்பெனி எங்களுக்கு கம்பன்சேஷன் தரும் சோ எங்களுக்கு நட்டம் வந்து இன்சூரன்ஸ் கம்பெனி தான் நட்டம் சோ திஸ் இஸ் कॉल्ड ரிஸ்க் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபர் and the fourth method is risk reduction right right risk reduction and sonna namu full risk ayum face panna matom risk avoid panna matom full risk full risk you try to put migu nige namu face panna we will reduce the full risk into an acceptable level and we will face the remaining risk so so risk risk face pandradala बर 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 विधमा नाग पाक ओके वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द अल्टरनेटिव मेथड्स ऑफ रिस्क ट्रीटमेंट सो रिस्क ट्रीटमेंट अंडर द मीनिंग इन सो नाल अंद रिस्क का इंगलेक्ट बरन को इंपैक्ट ले ना हम इंगलेक्ट प्रोटेक्ट करनी को वी आर रिड्यूसिंग द इंपैक्ट ऑफ द रिस्क टू प्रोटेक्ट आवर सेल्फ दैट इज कॉल्ड रिस्क ट्रीटमेंट देयर आर फोर डिफरेंट रिस्क ट्रीटमेंट मेथड फर्स्ट वन इज वन इज रिस्क एक्सेप्टेंस ओवर फोर व्हेन वी एक्सेप्ट द रिस्क वी विल फेस द फुल रिस्क व्हाटएवर द रिस्क इज फेस द फेस द फुल रिस्क second second risk avoidance when there is a risk avoid the risk, 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 risk and we will stop the risk, stop the risk. If there, if there is a risk, we will stop the risk. So we want, we want this risk, this risk, risk, risk. Practically, practically, that is not possible. All the business, all the business opportunities are with the with the risk, the risk, the risk trans, trans. We will we will trans our risk, 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 The first, the first method of this treatment is risk acceptance. Full risk game now, but eight to hold. Full risk game now, eight to hold. Our mind is in the. In the middle, the capacity is there. Risk of face one, the capacity is there. And the risk of face one, the capacity is there. Risk tolerance. There is a risk of tolerance. Risk tolerance is higher. In the risk game, accept it. Risk tolerance low is there. Accept it. Risk tolerance is higher. Alternative risk treatments. 
Did you understand the Anyone, anyone who didn't understand? Okay, okay. So it seems everyone have understood this. So let's move. The last bit that we have seen is risk reduction. Risk of Ulla except for normal, Ulla avoid for normal, Muracha, Kunjama except for normal, other to pair on the risk reduction. In the risk reduction, Nal is the one Anga say, so on the Nal is the Nanga Park. Risk chairing. For example, if you are a business, you are a high risk. So, if you are a partnership, you Example, Example partnership, joint, joint ventures, ventures to be on business business sharing. Example. Example. Second method of risk reduction is and that of full risk in acceptable now in full risk avoid for now in partially acceptable. Second method is diversify. Right, right. You are a shaker, 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 you are a you a or umbrella manufacturing company, umbrella of a multum make the end of a chipolo, umbrella of the demand that by the rainy season. So, so other season the umbrella of the business recall, so other season the risk higher. So, so either the umbrella, umbrella business, business other seasons it will be more productive. For example, for example this, umbrella umbrellas and risk, which is not risk for the poor. Right. right, or ice cream business at the bottom. Ice cream business on the sunny season, Nala demand, rainy season, 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 if product diversification. product diversification. That is called market diversification. Market diversification Market diversification. market diversification. For example, you have a business. You have a business. You have a business. You have a business. You have a total business. So, you have a Branch of the market down and down. So, this is called market diversification. Don't depend on the single market. Go to different markets. Different markets. So, the risk in one market can be adjusted with another market. That is called diversification. So, the diversification includes two diversification that is product diversification and market diversification. And the third example we are going to see. Right, right. Disaster management practices. 
this treatment means we have we have reduced the impact of the rest. when we when we reduce the impact of the rest, we are we are performing two steps. The first step, the first step is assessing, assessing the alternative treatment method. method. Second, second, implementing the best method. So, so the alternative methods include four, four methods. methods. That is risk acceptance, risk avoidance, risk transfer, and risk reduction. Risk avoidance means accepting, accepting the food risk. risk. This, is this is possible when our risk, our risk tolerance is high, impact, impact is low, and the risk, risk probability is low. Second, second risk, no. risk avoidance is we, we withdraw from the situation because we are unable to face the risk situation. So, so this is happening when the risk tolerance is low, or the risk impact is high, is Third, third risk, risk transfer. transfer. By making an insurance, we can transfer the risk to the insurance company and we can get protected. This is not, this a, is perfect not a perfect solution. solution. Only reduction, reduction not elimination. The fourth, fourth method is risk, risk reduction. reduction. So we are, so we are reducing the risk and, the and the facing the balance, facing the remaining risk or residual. There are four, there are four methods, methods of reducing the risk. risk. Number one, number one, risk risk sharing. sharing. Without, Without the facing, facing the risk alone, we are, we are sharing the risk with another party. It's a joint effort. Second, the second without, without, without having a single product or single market, we are, we are multiplying the products and multiplying the market. That is called diversity. And, and third one, one is disaster, disaster planning disaster or disaster, disaster recovery, recovery planning. planning. Business continuity, business continuity planning. planning. When, there when there are some possible disaster, we have to plan in and for that we can reduce the impact. And the fourth one is internal control. By controlling the internal environment, we can take care of both the procedures so that this impact impact can be reduced. And the third step of this management framework is we have to continue to monitor the risk after the treatment because, because the, the treatment, treatment may be successful or failure. We will be able to understand the success, success of failure of, of the risk treatment and we will be able to prepare for future future. So, so this is the summary of the risk management that is that is the two, two of you and we have, have come to the end of 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 the if you have, if you have any questions, you can, you can ask or else, or else we will be winding up the class because, because right. 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 So, and the next, the next class of will start be starting. So, so do you have, do you have any questions to clarify from this day? Any, any questions? Okay, did, okay, you, did you understand everything? Yes, sir. Handouts, Handouts I will upload to the Google class, right? I think, I think the earlier class, class are already, already I have uploaded. If you have, if you have not received your handouts, please call us. Call us. We will, we will guide you. you. Or please, or send please send us a message on WhatsApp. We will guide you how to feed that. Feed that. We cannot, we cannot we, are we are not sending the emails separately, separately for each and every handouts because we are arranging the classroom based on the syllabus area. So it will be easy for you to see and to study based on that. Syllabus, syllabus so, given. So, if you can, you can install, install the Google Classroom app, it will be easy for you, for you to manage because in the Google Classroom app, every page you can print a view and the notes is structured in a way that you can easily study and mind map yourself. So, it's better to see those documents, documents in the Google Classroom app because it's student, student rather than, rather than seeing to me. So, so if you if you have not received the early handout, please let us let us know. On the same, on the same methods, you can get the Latest, latest handout. So, so whenever we upload the latest handout, you will automatically get that email. So when you, so when you click the email, you will be able to see the document document documents inside the Google. So this, so is, this the is the method we will be sharing the document. If you if you need, you can download from there no issue. Right, right. But we are but we are arranging in a proper manner so that you can easily start. So you, so you will get the handouts for you. Tomorrow, tomorrow evening, evening. Right. right? Tomorrow, tomorrow morning, 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 do some moderations on that. So very soon you will get it. We'll be, we'll be mostly having the next class on Monday.